All right, hey, today we're gonna look at dividing fractions. Uh, some of the vocabulary terms we'll be using are the word reciprocal. Um, reciprocal, I'll talk a little bit about that here in a little bit. Uh, let's imagine, first of all, you got a pizza, and you only have a half a pizza left, so you have one half of a whole pizza remaining, and you can see here we got like pepperonis and little green peppers on it. What if you needed to divide that into eighths? Well, how many would you have? How many pieces would you have? So if we had one half divided by one eighth, what I would have to do is I'd actually take this whole pizza and divide it into eighths. And you can see how many pieces I now have. One, two, three, four slices of pizza left. So one half divided by one eighth is actually equal to four holes. I have four whole slices. All right? Now, let's take a look at that vocabulary word, reciprocal. A reciprocal of a number is whenever you have two numbers whose product is equal to one. So for example, if I have the number seven, and I multiply that times one-seventh, the answer is actually equal to one. That means that one-seventh is the reciprocal of seven, and vice versa. Seven is the reciprocal of one-seventh. Now, you know this whole number actually stands for seven over one. So, if we were to use cross-canceling here, you can see that it is equal to the whole number one. The only difference in a reciprocal is this one was seven over one, and then we got one over seven. What you're doing is you're gonna take the numerator of the original number and just uh, flip it around, and then you're gonna put the denominator on top. So let's take a look at another example. If I have a fraction like two-thirds, in order for the product to equal one, I would have to uh, find a reciprocal of this. Simply move the three in the denominator to the numerator. And then you're going to move the numerator down to the denominator. So you're just kind of flipping it around. All right? That's how we use a reciprocal. Or that's what a reciprocal is. Now we're going to talk about how you use it to divide fractions. I'm going to stick with two-thirds to help you, show you how to solve this next problem. If I have one-half divided by two-thirds, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say instead of dividing it by two-thirds, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So what is the reciprocal of two-thirds? Yeah, three-halves. So I'll multiply it by the reciprocal. That's the first step. Change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and then change the number into its reciprocal. Now I can solve this problem just like I would any multiplication problem of fractions. Simply multiply the numerators. 1 times 3 equals 3. And multiply the denominators. 2 times 2 equals 4. So my answer of 1 half of, or 1 half divided by 2 thirds is actually equal to 3 fourths. Well, I hope this helped you out. See ya!